I'm too 
that moment when you're just not feeling it yeah honestly I had to do something to fix this because it just wasn't doing it for me so here it goes okay so as you can see I have definitely transformed that curly burgundy hair into something sleek and legit natural like it looks so real like it's crazy like now I will say that this is after wearing it for um three days straight and not taking it off um and wearing it like it's natural hair so it's kind of a little flat and not as you know lively or lively if you want to say that but um yeah so the reason why i decided to go ahead and like chop 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 the hair is because when i had the Pro. um of course I did it on a mannequin head and there is no secret that the mannequin head is smaller than this thing right here okay so since it was smaller um when I put it on my head it just was not giving me the life that it was giving me on the mannequin so I was like yeah I kept asking people is this okay does this look cute and when you do that you know it's not cute and when people are giving you the answer like I mean I like the color that means they're really not feeling it either <laughs> So I want to give a special shout out to the amazing hairstylist, my girl Maya, who helped cut this to life. Um, I will say after a few minutes, maybe 20 to 30 minutes of like cut, 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 let me look at it, cut, cut, cut some more, we got this masterpiece. And I just want y'all to see, like, she did her thing, okay? I will definitely put her booking info in the bio so that if y'all in the Greensboro, Charlotte, North Carolina area are looking for someone to cut your hair, she's the one to go to. Um, but yeah, I have came to the conclusion that this color is going to be my color for fall. I love it. And, you know, it kind of still resembles my um natural haircut but you know it gives me a little curl a little more curl definition and some popping color without having to color my own hair uh we all win you know what i'm saying but yeah so um i hope you enjoyed the little tutorial that i did honestly okay so some things that i learned so this is my first wig ever making my first wig um it took me some time i tried to follow all the little guidelines that um, I watch on some of my YouTube favorite YouTubers videos you know I put the plastic bag down on the um, or the shower cap down on the um, styrofoam head before hot gluing it 
gluing the hair down so it didn't get stuck. But this is the result of that. Can you hear that? I know this mic is picking this up. Yeah, so I need to know for next time what to do. Should I not use a cap and use a bag instead? Because it won't come out. Like, this is ridiculous and it's not cute. Like, I can't have Bay who doesn't exist, but I can't have potential Bay coming up wanting to, you know, touch my hair and then it's like, bruh, no. So, that's a little trial and error thing that I'm going to have to fix the next go round. Um, but other than that, this is probably, you know how crochet was my thing? I think trying to do wigs will be my next thing because they last longer. You can take them off and still take care of your hair. And they're so fun. And when you make your own wig, of course, it costs way less. So stay tuned. It might be a um, Wigs by Chris coming to a shop near you. Okay? <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you love the color and if you want to see any more styles with this color and if you have any suggestions um or any feedback uh i would love to hear them and yes it's crazy i have survived making my first wig pretty darn good it survived a, a good little jiho experience a little fun in between and yes we are here today live and thriving <laughs> But yes, I hope you enjoyed this video, loves. Till next time. In Spain.